Welcome to Daily Overdose. Execute. Execute on the things that you said you were going to execute on. Kobe said, why would I pass the ball to you when you haven't even trained properly? I used to always wonder, like, why is my man hogging the ball? He's like, yo, why would I have confidence in somebody who's getting to the gym late, who's leaving early, we losing, doesn't seem to care that we losing. Why would I give the ball to you? And I'm like, yo, genius. My whole career is contingent upon what you do and what you don't do. Yeah, I'm taking this. That shift my thought process because I'm like, here I am judging from the outside. Why aren't you being a better teammate? But the real question is, why aren't you being a better teammate by seeing my energy and matching my energy? Because we're on the same team with the same goals. We have the ability to, no matter what our circumstances are, get better. Well, you don't know me. If you knew me in 2002, you don't know Eric Thomas. That was the 5.0 version. This is the 14. This is the ET 14. You don't know who I am. And I would just say to people, yes, it takes a lot of work to become a new model, but it also takes a lot of work to suck, to be <laughs> average. It takes a lot of work to do that as well. There are a group of people that feel like it's okay not to execute because I'm not feeling okay. Mm. Because today is not a good day. Because all the stars didn't line up. Yo, despite this happening, I owe it to myself to still be the person that I dreamed of being and this setback will only be a setup for a comeback. We owe it to the people who follow us to not stay where we are, but to take it to that next level. Being in a room with somebody who's executing and operating at a high level, man, I'd much rather put in the work and live this experience. Yo, we have opportunity. You have an opportunity of a lifetime. Whatever you do, don't waste it. Get up and go make it happen. You're already in pain. Get a reward for it. So why would you go through all that pain and not get something for it? To put all those hours in and not transfer those hours to something else. It doesn't make sense not to recycle the pain and get wealth or a successful life, a successful spouse, like whatever, have kid, whatever it is. I was like, E, it can't end here. I've read the books, I've gone to the conferences, I went to the classes, I, I, I got the degrees, like it can't end with just life is gonna deal me this hand. You still have to do life, regardless of how you come into life. If you come in great, if you come in poorly, it does not matter. You have to do life, and if you're smart, you do life on your terms, and you don't let life make you do it on its terms. I'll do whatever it takes to keep this freedom. I'll do whatever it takes. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta get out of your feelings. You know, you woke up, got into it with your spouse or your kids call with something that was going on or you were sick. And so I think for most people, they go wrong because they think it's a feeling when execution is a fact. There are going to be difficult times in your life. There are going to be times where you have every reason to make an excuse. Absolutely. But that won't serve you. And I look at Kobe and was like, yo, not you didn't necessarily live to be 100, but the time you had on Earth. You put in work and then you went and dominated one area and then you start coming over and said, now nah, I'm coming into some other areas, but I'm going to bring my greatness over here and I'm going to kill it. And that's all I'm saying to people. Greatness is in you. Activate it. Like I wake up every day with this. All right, I'm going to win a Nobel Prize. And it's not about the Nobel Prize. It's not about Norway. It is about if LeBron and Michael Jordan are playing for the finals and uh, Gretzky is playing for the Stanley Cup and somebody else is playing for the pennant like my my pennant is the Nobel Prize because you don't get that without helping millions of people get from one place in their lives you know to another and so what I do is I, I figure out where you are and I dare you to come out of where you are to if nobody ever influenced you where would you want to be like, what, what do you want? What do you want to do? Not what they want you to do. If you could dream, 
Like, what would your best life look like for you if you didn't have to impress your mom or your dad, if you didn't have to go to college because your parents went to college? Like, what would you really do? And then if they can tell me, and if I can figure out where you want to go at that point, then I can snatch your current reality and help you to build a new reality to help you to get where you go. So for me, it's I got to get in here and I got to get in here. And if you let me into these two spaces, I can get you wherever you're trying to get to. Guys, you got to understand the opportunities that you have. You know, I've been to third world countries where it does not matter how early you wake up. It does not matter how long you stay up. It doesn't matter what your skill sets are. It doesn't matter. You don't have opportunity. You have people all over the world who are dying to get here, literally dying to get here. You have an opportunity of a lifetime and where much is given, much is required. Like you got opportunities. You got banks that you can get loans from. Uh, you can go online and sell stuff from online. Like you don't even have to have a store anymore. You're a store for, like you can literally become rich from your watch. So it's like, yo, instead of you looking at everything that's not, look at what is. So absolutely, there's some stuff to complain about 1000%. There's a whole bunch of stuff I can complain about. It's a lot of stuff that I can be angry about, but I didn't realize how quick life was. Because life is short, I don't have time to focus on what's not. I've got to focus on what is, then get up and go get it. And, and, and for me, it's like, guys, I need you to understand where you are. We are looking for opportunity and we have it. And so if you can lock in, I need you to get focused. I need you to get locked in. But I'm too scared not to try. Like I'm too scared not to take the risk. The only thing standing in your way is you. That's it. Like, how is that possible? Like somebody uh, uh, doesn't do what you think they should do and you go off, but then you give you a pass. Like you don't go off on you. But when are you gonna go in the mirror and check yourself? Like, why are you giving yourself a pass? Why are you giving yourself out? But then you didn't finish school or you didn't write the book or you didn't do the album or, or you didn't go back to school or you told yourself you was gonna lose weight and you just let you just let yourself off the hook like, ah, well, you didn't do it for you. I'm saying, no, do me a favor. With that same energy you use to hold somebody else accountable, hold yourself accountable because here's the deal. You hold me accountable and I change. How do you benefit from that? Use that same energy you use on others. I'm not saying don't hold people accountable, but I'm saying use that same energy on yourself mm -hmm. and you'd be shocked how much further you'd be in life if you just punish us, if you put you on punishment. So for me, it's not, this is happening, this is happening, this is happening. I look at it, game seven, this is where the Magic Johnsons, the Larry Birds, like this is where the Michael Jordans are made. This is where the real ballers, this is where the real ballers come out. This is what I signed up for. This is what all the weights were for. This is the eating right. This is the getting up early, going. this is the trainers. Like, this is why I went to this school. This is why I got this coach. Like, this, I long for this and I live for this. When I see trials and tribulations, I go, it's showtime with a real Eric Thomas. With a game seven Eric Thomas. Please stand up, activate. Grand slam, boom, it's out of here. So I just look at it as, hey, if you want to complain, go for it. I will rise to the level of the challenge. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Thank you for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss another video.